we propose a real-time animation method for the ejection of gas and ash mixtures in volcano eruption. Rising plume is composed of hot gas and ash particles which progressively entrains more air before reaching a maximal altitude. Our animated model is based on two layers. The first one simulates the macroscopic dynamics of the eruptive column, using overlapping and evolving cylindrical slices. This slice-based simulation takes into account the weight and buoyancy of the gas mixture that constantly entrains surrounding air. This variation of size, density and temperature of the slices is dynamically simulated in order to animate a consistent evolution of the column, and we compare the evolution of the ascending velocity to standard measurements from volcanology literature. These slices are used to guide a second layer, composed of rotating spheres with decreasing radius, that represents the visible detailed geometry associated to highly billowing flow. These two layers are lightweight to compute and can therefore be simulated and visualized in real time using simple surface-based rendering. This allows the user to navigate or modify the simulation parameters interactively if needed. For instance, the ejection velocity, density or sedimentation coefficient. We can further previsualize this flow using billboarding techniques. This gives to the user a closer insight on the volumetric aspects of the ejections. Our Leon model also handles the effect of the wind on the column, where force is applied on the effective section of the layer. This results in a curved trajectory of the slice centerline that we can compare to expected curves from specialized literature. The slice geometry is also aligned to its trajectory. And for higher quality visualization, the sphere data can be exported to define a volumetric density used in an offline renderer, here showing a rising column without wind. and here showing it under a slight wind of 15 meters per second. And this is another example with a stronger wind of 45 meters per second. Here, we compare the rendering of the plume with only the big spheres of scale 1, the spheres of scale 1 and 2, and the spheres of scale 1, 2 and 3. On every rendering, a procedural noise adds some details. Our simulation is able to automatically detect if the column should raise thanks to its buoyancy or falls back on the ground thus leading to the so-called pyroclastic flow. The layer model can be extended to also simulate and represent this pyroclastic flow. Spheres are used to compute the interaction of the flow with the ground, while subcolumns can be generated when the mixture becomes less and less dense due to sedimentation. And here is a result of such pyroclastic animation Random offline.
and thank you for watching.